Hello, you two out there. This is your girl, Black Indian, Black American Indian. And I'm going to respond back to the Midnight Bell 07 response. Um, yes, I've thought about getting the DNA test. Um, I know that the test results will only be in regards to my mother and her mother and her mother and her mother and her mother all the way back um, genes. Now, I know that my maternal grandmother um, may not even have been black. <laughs> so, I don't even know where the black um, or African um, bloodline would be on her side. So, I'm hoping that eventually I can talk my daddy into getting the um, DNA testing because then he carries both his mother's genes and his father's genes. So that way I can get more of a clear um, result from his side. But as far as my mother, uh, she does have a half-brother, but I don't really know him that well. Um, and if we were close, then I would ask him if he could do the DNA test in that way. Um, at least my mother's father's side, uh, the results will come back for that. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that they um, were black, but I'm not quite sure about um, her mother. Um, eventually, I'll probably post pictures of um, some of my elders, um, but right now, I just choose to send this video out. Um, but yes, I've, I've really, really, really been thinking very seriously about the DNA testing. Um, I know there's some controversy about not being able to trace the tribe where um, you descend from. Um, I know some people, they can trace their heritage back to uh, Ghana or um, Liberia and sometimes even down to the actual tribe. Some critics say that you can't do that. Um, you may be able to trace back to a region where people that you have close DNA with, but not necessarily the actual tribe. Um, as far as my indigenous ancestry in, in the Americas, so I should say in Southside VA and um, Northeastern North Carolina, um, like I said, my maternal grandmother, I'm sure um, those, are, those results will be strong Native American. And even on my father's side. Um, to tell you the truth, I don't know where the back, the black ancestry come in. Um, maybe three or four generations back, but most of my ancestors um, were Native American with, you know, a little bit of European blood mixed in there too. But um, I know DNA testing can be very expensive and times are tough and we're in a recession and my husband and I just bought a house, so maybe next tax season. 2010, I'll be able to get the DNA test and at least get results from my mother's 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 side, that line. Um, but I really don't think there's much black on that side. Um, I just wanted also to add with um, our first family, the Obamas going to Ghana last week. I'm very proud of our first family. Um, I got a little teary-eyed because I know that my African ancestry is West Africa. I, I really don't know which country most black African American descent people don't, but I thought that was a powerful documentary and if, if only, you know, I could experience going to where my, my ancestors possibly might have been um, captured and um, um, locked up like animals. I can just, I, I, I can't even imagine the feeling. I, I mean, I do believe that those spirits are still there. I do believe that if I were to go there, that I could feel that pain. I could, I could smell the, 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 the just the pain and the, the agony and just. I don't 
don't know, but I feel like it's time for a pilgrimage, seriously. Um, but, you know, as far as with the DNA test, um, I may be able to have some sort of trace back to um, West Africa. Um, not sure where um, that would be, but... Yeah, <laughs> I get, I get, I do get a little um, emotional about my heritage, especially my blended heritage, and um, it's very frustrating when you try to find your paper trail, and there's no paper trail. Um, after a certain amount of um, years back. Now, I know with slaves, they weren't documented as human beings. They were documented as property. And I know most um, ex-slaves and their descendants started um, their paper trails around the late 1800s. So anything before that, you're lucky if you get any information. Um, I've got information on my mother's side, um, my maternal mother. Um, all the way back to the, I think the 18, 1825, 1835, which is pretty good. Um, but as far as my black African um, paper trail, not much at all, not much. Um, I know also I've been told that as far as indigenous people and having um, a DNA test to trace back the tribe is uh, not possible. I don't know why, but um, yeah. <laughs> so long story short, I do want to get a DNA test. And I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I pick the right one where I'm not wasting my money. Um, and being that I am a female, I'm only going to be able to trace my maternal grandparents' people all the way back. And so, again, there may not even be any black on that side. But obviously, <laughs> you can tell I have some black ancestry. Um, somewhere mixed up in there. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of my people and it's just, it's, it's daunting at times. Um, but I'm, I'm very thankful that now that they have these DNA tests for average people. Um, you know, if I could get, I could probably get my brother. You know, I have a half brother through my father. And maybe I can get my brother one day to get a DNA test if I don't get my daddy to do it. So I can at least trace, have him trace daddy's side of the family. Um, but yeah, it's, it's crossed my mind several times. And um, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to <laughs> drift off right about now, but I'm supposed to be at the powwow today in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, it was uh, from Friday the 17th, today the 18th of July, and then tomorrow, July the 19th. Um, but I had to wait for a delivery that did not show up until 5 o'clock, so I was unable to go to the powwow today. So I'm a little annoyed by that because I really enjoy that powwow. Um, actually, also, since we're talking about powwow, um, there is going to be a gathering for Native American and, bl and Black Americans that have the blended ancestry here in Richmond, Virginia. Um, 